Are you looking for real Almaden Valley of San Jose real estate market data? Are you wondering how the market's doing and which direction the market is trending? Well, stay tuned as we dig into the real data. Hi, I'm Teresa Wellman with HomeownerExperience.com, your local San Jose, California realtor. I live in Almaden Valley and I love Almaden Valley. And so today we're going to cover the real facts about the Almaden Valley real estate market. Let's jump right into the computer where I can show you some actual market stats and trends. Okay, here we are with an overview of the Almaden Valley single family home market as of March 2020. I came up with a new graphic uh, this month to try to make it a quick snapshot of some key metrics for you to understand. So the average price is down 13.4%, ouch. But keep in mind last month we were actually up 18%. That huge jump of 18% was due to some larger homes selling and swinging the stats. So don't fret, it's not a big deal. Um, we are still up from the December average price, but year over year we are down um, with today's prices similar in Almaden Valley to spring 2017. Great news here is this 21% increase in the number of sales from the last month as well. We expect that seasonally, but that is a really nice healthy jump. Now today's market in Almaden is definitely a seller's market. Our days of inventory is all the way down to 30 days when we would sell all the homes available on the market at the current rate of sales. And as we're going into spring, you know that current rate of sales usually starts to go even faster because buyers are getting out there more into the market. Pending sales are up 28% while the inventory is only up 20%. So creating still a little bit of a swing, a shortage of inventory, that is going to continue to put pressure on the seller's market. As you can see, the sales price to list price ratio was up to 104.5%. And that, of course, is again an indication of the strong seller's market. And these are properties that went in contract in January and closed in February. And if you recall back in January, I was telling you out in the field, we were seeing lots of multiple offers with buyers. So now the data is starting to show that. So going down here to this next section, we have 18 active homes at the end of February with 27 pendings in February. That is 60% of the single family homes are in contract. That is a really huge number. And again, again, indicating a very strong seller's market. So now let's go look at the chart to compare the last several years. And if you look here, inventory continues to be really low. It is actually the lowest February inventory we've had all the way since 2015. The last five years, we've definitely decreased here. Sales are higher than all the previous Februarys, except 2018 when we had a really strong February sales here but as you see that's just a tiny bit above the line this green line that I had put across here and let's see the pendings are the highest that have been on record for February recorded in the last six years so these are all strong indicators that the market is really healthy and really heating up for spring and continuing to be a seller's market the wild card of course is going to be the stock market volatility that we've seen over the last couple weeks some buyers in the higher end are backing off and waiting and that may affect the market coming soon so we'll watch how long properties are sitting on the market that's going to be our first indication of if there is some sort of a change due to the coronavirus or the stock market volatility if properties start to sit a little bit longer we know that that market direction is changing but for now very strong sellers market no indications of that happening always feel free to reach out to me with any of your questions or to get my take on your property or generally your price point feel free to subscribe and hit that bell to be reminded of these new videos every Tuesday thanks for watching watching.